Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today I have an interactive welcome baby card. So if you want to check this one out, then just keep watching. All right, so we're gonna start off with our card panel. So for that, I'm gonna cut a piece of cardboard here, just to 10 and a half centimeters wide. It's gonna be the front of my card, I know that bit. And I'll work out how high it's gonna be later. One job at a time for this one. We're gonna do a little bit of stenciling. So I'm gonna grab in, that's the other reason why I've left some room on the top and the bottom. So I'm grabbing in this stencil. This is a kind of like a quilted design. And I'm, I'm very, very heavily cheating by using, there, there is a, a quilted backdrop, I think it's called from Lawn Fawn. I don't have it. So this is what I'm using kind of instead. So I'm just gonna stick my cardboard down just so that it doesn't wiggle while I'm using the stencil. This washi is just about at the end of its life. Not quite, but very close. Which is why it's been reduced to just sticking things down at this point. So this is roughly how tall it'll be, but we'll work that out 100% in a minute. So I want the background to be reasonably subtle. So I'm just grabbing in Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide and I'm grabbing my gray blending brush. I'm just gonna stick stencil down so that it doesn't wiggle and then I'm just going to blend in over the top so I'm just holding it still and just blending through so it'll be a very subtle backdrop but it'll give me the look I want I'm just going to grab a blending tool I'm just giving this a shot because I want to try and get the colour in a little bit more that wasn't in the middle. So rather than trying to drag it along, I'm just going to pounce it in. I'm just trying to get, I'll do a bit of rubbing, but just trying to darken these up just a little bit. start adding our images. Now I've already coloured a couple of my ducks so I want to use four ducks on this and they're going to be living in this bathtub. So this is the Rubber Dub Dub uh, stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I don't, this isn't mine, I've borrowed this from my friend Simone. And I want there to be four ducks in this little bathtub with some bubbles and then another duck is going to pop up from behind, from behind in the bath. So I'm just going to sort of have a look at roughly where I want that to sit. So I need to stamp out another one of this one. So at the moment I'm just using a bunch of uh, excess papers. <laughs> this is all of my Express It card that I've been playing with other things on. So I'm just going to try and use up a bunch of this. I'm just going to stamp out the bathtub. I'm also going to stamp out, clean this first, I'm also going to stamp out one of the big ducks and then another one of the little ducks. I one of the big ducks. So in this case, she's the mummy duck. No idea how I'm gonna color her yet, but she's there. And I'm also just gonna grab another one of the baby ducks. So the little one that's poking up, because he's gonna be the one that jumps up. All right. So for all of the ducks, all the ducklings, sorry, I've colored them in the exact same way. One of them I did slightly lighter than the others. So these two are both with Y13 and Y15. This one's with Y13 and Y11. I like the darker one. So I'm going to colour this baby duck in the exact same way as the others. So I just used 15 underneath his wing on the back of his other wing, a little bit near his beak, a little bit at the back of his head and a little bit at his bottom. And then just blended that out with the 13. Very, very simple colouring for this one. And then for their beak and their feet, I'm going to use Weiss. YR07 and YR04. So YR07, why do I always do that? Um, just right up against the beak and then just a little stripe down on their feet and then blend that out with the 04. Best beak combination there is this one. And I'll use that same beak combination on the mum bird when I get to her. For the bathtub, I'm gonna do these in cool greys because that kind of gives you the I'm trying to decide if I want it to be a white bathtub or a grey bathtub. And I'm leaning towards grey and having it slightly darker. So I've got C5, C7 and C3. C7 is just for the feet. I'm just going to 
gonna do a little darkness just there and then blend that out with the five. And I might do the same on the top. That way they kind of match up together. And then just do a lighter actual tub. I'm gonna try the tub first. So I'm using the five on both ends, or both sides, sorry. dry because I don't want it to bleed. And just try and pull that out a little bit more. That's getting what I want. If it doesn't do it, if it's being a pain, it's when you just do the chip to tip. And just use it to help to help the blend. It's very subtle. But it just makes all the difference. And the top I think I don't know about the top. I think I'm gonna make it dark just because then it matches with the feet doesn't work I can always come back so I'm not gonna make it fully fully dark though so I'm just putting the seven just around the outside and on the bottom but I'm not putting it along the top and then I'm gonna blend that out with five yeah I think that's okay we'll see when we put it all together if it actually looks right all right, now for the mum duck. I think I want to make her like one of the ones that has um, the, the neck thing. And this is where you grab your phone out and you have a look. So, but mum ducks, the, the, the mallard, which is what that is, I think, the one with the... the oh. Yeah, all right, we're going to give it a shot, see how it goes. So I'm just going to grab in one of my uni pin markers. This is 0.04, and I'm just going to draw a little neck on her. Doesn't have to be perfect. But just drawing that little collar. So underneath, so underneath the line's going to be all browns. So I'm gonna use 74 and 71 because it does look a little bit dirty. And then on the top, I'm gonna use BG15 and BG18. slightly yellower so I'm gonna pull that back I'm gonna use Y what sorry Y38 and then Y23 for the for the duck bill and the duck feet so it's the 38 on first and then I'll blend that out with the YR23 oh I like that mummy duck she's worked out really nicely could have done a grey one, could have done something similar, and then I just, because I'm a crazy person, I'm just going to add in just a teensy little bit of grey, just on the very outs of her neck. Just blend that out with a blender. Just because nothing's going to be pure white. That would just be silly. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. I think I need to do a couple of accessories as well, so I'm also going to, I'm going to, Really quickly stamp out the bubble bath, the rubber duck, and then I think the little boat as well, and then color them in, cut them out, and I'll be right back.
forgot to do the bubbles. So the bubbles are going to be very, very simple. They're just going in B000 and B quadruple zero. Just because I just want them to be light. And then we're going to add in a layer of vellum as well, just to add a little bit more bubbleness to these. So I'm going just around the outside with the triple zero. And then we'll blend these out with the quadruple zero. Before we put that stamp away, just grabbing a little bit of vellum here. I'm just going to grab my my Versa, Versa Mark ink. Sorry, I'm going to have some bubbles with some clear embossing powder so that they kind of stand out. So I'm I'm going to do this twice. Oh damn it! I forgot to do the powder. It's alright. I'm just going to tear that bit off. I may still be able to use that, but. Gonna put a bunch of powder. Oh, I've been having so much trouble with this thing lately. I always forget to do the powder. So I snap this out twice. I'm gonna do it once, and we'll do that with clear with the clear hologram sparkle embossing powder. And I'm going to do it one more time I go a fair way over. with white because I'm not sure which I'm going to like better so I think I'll try both and we'll see. just. So I'm just going to give that a second to dry off and then I'm just going to run both of them through the die cut with the die and just see what we get. Let's have a look at this. See where we're going to go. So, whoops. so we've got the bathtub and we've got the bubbles. So it's it like that. That's why it looks so cool. And I'm just, just trying to decide if I want to put the clear hollow bubbles in front of that. If I want to put the white bubbles. I'm going the hollow. And then what I want to do, this is where I'm trying to work this all out. So I want to have it so that that'll be stuck on the back. This will be stuck a little bit in front. And then when you pull, the little duck's going to come up. I just have to work out how I'm going to do that. So going back to the background, I'm just going to trim off where I want the top to be. Actually, if it fits, I'll do it as a stitched. I may have already done this too small. Okay, so I'm just going to run that through, just making it straight. I'm starting to think I might need a floor. I originally didn't think I would, but maybe I do. So I'm going to have that little one's going to be stuck up. So I'm going to use my Let's Toast pull tab die. So it'll make this a lot, lot easier. I just need to work out all the bits and pieces. Oops. Drop things on the ground. So we'll cut that. And I'm also going to cut the little pull tab. Thankfully I've got lots and lots of spare cardboard. I'm actually cutting this out of a slightly thicker bit. This is a bit of that craft board that I've been loving so much recently. Just a spare bit so I might as well use it. So I'll run that through the die cut too. And then we just fold these, there's some little score lines here. So I'm just going to fold these over, just reinforce it with my scoring tool. And you fold it into this little Z shape. So you fold it in, score, and then fold it back on itself, and score as well. And then what will happen is this little bit pops through here, like that. It'll slide up and down like this and we'll stick the little duck on there so that he'll pop up out of the bathtub. So 
just need to work out. So it'll sit up on foam tape. So it's all the way at the bottom. So that bathtub's going to have to come a little bit further up. Which I didn't want. I think I put this up too high. Oh no, because we've got the bubbles. We've got the bubbles. So when that's stuck together, I'm just going to stick that down with some foam tape. Well, um, with some washi tape for a sec. So when that's right at the bottom, oh, that's alright, I can just put him lower, can't I? And then that'll pop up and he'll pop out. Okay, okay. So I need to get him stuck on this little tab and work out where I'm going to cut that. So I'm just going to grab a pencil and just trace around him, just gently. I don't want to get any pencil on the actual duck. And just with the scissors, just cut around where my pencil marks were. going to pull him off one more time. I've just realized a few things. So first thing I've realized I need to make this just a little bit thinner because it's just a little bit too wide at the bottom which is all fine because there's still plenty of room there uh, but I've forgotten to put my little pull tab at the top and that's really hard to do once the mechanism's in place. So grab the little pull tabby one and I'm just lining this up with the center of the card using the stitching line on the top there to work it out. Run this through. Go, open it up. It might need just a little bit more glue. Anywhere that I can see it, see the background, sorry. I'm just gonna come in and just trim it. I'm being really particular. Don't need to be. But I just want to be able to see as little of what's left behind there as I possibly can. bathtub. Alright, back to the bathtub. Back to the bathtub. So that's at the bottom. So if I have it there, you're going to be able to see that there's something behind it. You just don't know what yet. Bubbles in as well. And then there, you're going to pull it and he'll jump up out of the bath. Oh my god, that is so cute. So you're going to stick the bubbles down. highlight on the bathtub. Probably did that wrong but anyway. Then we're going to get the foam tape out. Now what we need to do is make sure we don't put this anywhere near the little track of the duck. So cut this in half. So if we put that on the side, so put it back right at the bottom, just having a look. These both down the side of the. That one might need to be a little bit smaller. Just cutting a little bit off it. Yeah, he's gonna pop out of there with no problem. So I stick him down, stick the bathtub down, sorry, so that I can keep going. So he's right at the bottom. Just gonna do my little. It's just a little bit of something on the duck's face. I don't like it, so I'm just going to try and blend over the top of it a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of powder just around the duck, just to make that slide a little bit easier. A little bit of white gel pen. I don't actually think you'll see it, but just in case. Sure that's right at the bottom. We'll put the bathtub down. So he's just gonna have just his beak popping out of the top. And there he 
you've got little ducky. He's just a little bit popping out from behind his wing. So I'm going to fix that up. There we go. So then to make this a bit more solid at the back, I'm just going to cut out one of these out of some scrap cardboard. This is just some of the cardboard we use for the background. This is just to make yourself a little collar. So let's put the little score lines on here as well. So just fold it up. I'm going to use glue tape for this because it's a bit easier. Actually, I'm going to put liquid glue on the back and then we'll use glue tape to seal it up. Just a little bit there. And then just line that up underneath the tab. Make sure that's in the right spot. And then just move that around stick that down and that'll make sure that it stays straight. There's a little bit of glue tape on this bit. That'll hold that in place. Go. And then just make sure that's right at the bottom and we can cut cut this off here. And I'm just going to grab the little pull tab bit. Now I want this little punch out piece. I want that to be teal as well. So I'm just going to run this through with the little tab and then we'll colour it in. Just making sure I keep the little triangle because I want to use that. And then just with those teal colours we used, I'm just going to colour, actually just going to use the dark teal. I'm just going to colour over that. Go. Give that a second. And then we can start working out the scene around the ducks. So we've obviously got Mummy duck. It's going to be up on some foam tape. Just wondering if I need a ground. I think I do. And then I want to put some of the other ducks. This one's going to be out because he's obviously very clearly the same duck as the other one. Then these ones I kind of want to see if I can get them into the bathtub. I'm just going to just pick that up a little bit. I need to cut them off to get them to do what I want to, I will. We can have the, the boat. Yeah, we do need a ground. Okay. So I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie. I'm just going to grab the same border die I used, sorry, the same rectangle I used before. Run that through quickly. And then using my wood grain die, which is not wood grain die, wood grain stamp which is just one of my favourites and I love it. I'm going to stamp on with that hickory smoke. That'll give me my floor. Just looking at it thinking maybe it's a little bit too, it's a little bit too white. Gonna add, I think it just it, it does, it doesn't add enough contrast to the alright. So before I decide that that's not right, I'm just gonna add a bit of ink on the top. So I'll make this all grey. Yeah, that'll work. Just need to trim it a little bit more, it's a little bit too high still. when you add in all the other colours and bits and pieces it'll look fine. I'm just going to attach that at the bottom just with some liquid glue. We'll put the tab on the top so I'm just folding that over. So when I coloured in some of the accessories I made sure to use colours that I'd already used. So that's why I used the teal um, for the little boat. And I used the same brown actually for the boat that I did for the the duck as well. I think somewhere along the line. I might have put that little tab in just a little bit too shallow. So when I push this in it doesn't go all the way, but I think it's okay. Get 
duckies in the right spot. So we're gonna have the mum duck standing at the front. She's gonna be up on some foam tape. She'll be sitting there just like that. We've got the boat and the bubble bath. You can sort of sit down a little bit lower. We'll have one little ducky who I'm gonna put up on foam tape too, I think. So it looks like he's ready to jump into the, into the bath. And then we'll have the other two I'll sit in here. I'll trim them off so that I can get them to sit in the bath. This scares me a little bit, killing the duck. Kill the duck. So I've got one little ducky in the bath. I've got another little ducky in the bath. He's cut his little legs off. So we've got two little duckies in the bath. And then, then the little other little ones coming out. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cute though. And then we've got all of the other bits and pieces sitting around. They'll just be flat, those three. We'll get this little guy up on some foam as well. Alright, so I'm gonna stick all of these down and I'll be right back. Some very cute little stamps in here that's got like puddles. So I'm actually just going to add just a couple of those and some little splashes. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of broken china distress oxide. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult because I'm obviously off I'm on not quite flat paper, but I think it'll be okay. So there's going to be a couple of little puddles on the ground, which then also fills up that space because it was a bit empty. And then there's some little splashy ones. I'm going to put them sort of up here. The only thing I need now is just a sentiment, just so that there's something on the top, which I think I'm going to do with black on, white heat emboss on black, just because I, I feel like it needs something bold. And I'm just going to do the rubber dub dub a new baby to love. So I'm just going to see how that sits. So it's obviously too wide for the whole, like to go across like that. So I've got to stack it. So I'm going to stick that, I'm going to have it like that, just on black. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really, really fast and I'll be right back. mount it up on a piece of black whoops it's all right um piece of black like a black card base sorry um this isn't the right size it's going to be too tall so all i'm going to do is just line it up i'm just going to trim it about there a little bit of glitter all over this one and this is going to go up on some foam tape as well because you've got to give the mechanism some room to move so very quickly up on some foam tape and then we'll be done so you pull the little tab, and the little ducky pulls up. Oh my god, that is so cute. So, so cute. Thank you so much to Simone for letting me borrow her Rubber Dub Dub kit. This is one that I need to get. I need to get this stamp set. I just haven't got it yet. Uh, but she's very kindly lent it to me, so thank you very much, Simone. This one's actually going to a friend of mine who's just had their fourth baby, which is why there are four little duckies and one that's new. So that's sort of a one that's surprised or popping up. Um, so I really hope that they like this card. I'm sure they will. Uh, I really like the mummy duck. I think she's worked out really nicely and I like the colours. I think it's all worked out very, very pretty. So let me know what you think. Leave it down below or you can find me on any of my socials. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And let me know if you want to see more interactive cards here on my channel. Hope you have an absolutely awesome, awesome day, whatever you're doing. And I'll catch you in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye!